Hello, it's Lock Noob. Um, a couple of videos back, I mentioned that I might show how to make a beer can or uh, soda can shim to, uh, for opening padlocks. I've got a couple of padlocks here which I know can be shimmed. Um, two different types, really. Uh, this plastic, pra uh, plastic uh, practice padlock, try to say that after a couple of beers, um, and this Master Lock 3 have uh, a locking dog, which you can see here in uh, this practice lock, which attaches to the shackle at both ends, like that. So these can be shimmed, but you need a padlock shim on both sides. Of course, you can buy shims. I think Goso and uh, Sparrows, uh, probably Peterson, make their own shims. You can buy them. Uh, re reasonably good value, but again, I don't think you need to necessarily buy them when you can make them out of a uh, beer can or soda can. Um, this other lock, which I have shimmed before on video, as you know, is only locking on one side of the shackle, this side. So you only need one shim. Most modern padlocks, if you can shim them, um, will lock on both sides of the lock, okay? So let's try and make a couple of shims. Um, I've taken a, a can like this, and I have taken off a, just cut with scissors, um, don't use good scissors, of course, a strip of uh, metal about two inches wide, and all you need to do is take this and cut it into uh, one and a half inch strips like this. And that should give you a, a few, um, I'll tidy that one up, uh, should give you a few shims to be getting on with. And all you need to do is take one of these strips of metal, cut in to it and make a, a dip down, okay, uh, which I'll show you. Try and do it in as nice smooth manner if you can, curve it down, there you go. And once it gets to about there, curve it back up again. You don't have to be too pretty with this. There we go. Try and keep it as smooth as you can. And back out. Okay, so that's sort of one. There. Again, not perfect. You can use a template. I'm trying to do this in a, a quickly to just show you how quickly you can, in theory, make these. Okay, try this again. So go in, um, go in about a centimeter or so just under half an inch, curl that round, dip down, start to curl it back up, this one's a bit shallower but it should be okay, uh, that's probably a bit too shallow actually but hey we'll keep that as a spare and I've got another strip of metal here anyway don't I so it'd be a shame not to give that a go and one last time so go in one smooth curve, dip down, go a bit further down this time, lock new, curl it back up, and finish it off. There we go. So they're not perfect, I don't think they need to be. Um, all you need to do now is just fold the top over so it's a bit stronger and put a small curve to the metal so that it'll hug the inside of the lock. I like to just use something like a, uh, a Master Lock 3 uh, and just bend the metal around it gently. Don't tear um, the shim, just be nice and gentle. Um, try to keep a nice curve on that metal and um, it should, therefore, once you've got a nice curve to it, slide round um, the lock mechanism quite well. So again, I've got this one. They're not pretty. They don't have to be, you're not going to use them all than once or twice because they tend to get some metal fatigue. I suppose the advantage of buying them is that they are made a bit stronger, but even the ones which you purchase, and I'll be honest, I haven't bought any, so I don't really know, but the videos I have seen say that uh, they don't last too long anyway. So I've got a couple of shims, um, nicely curved round the metal and they will look a bit like this at the end of it. Again, you can make yours prettier if you want. And let's see how they might work. So, clean away some of my junk, and look at this plastic practice lock. 
you can see that the shackles themselves have a, well, let's open it up, a groove in, and that is where the locking dog sits and bites into the shackle, holding it closed. You can see that the locking dog itself, as I close it, slides out of the way and then snaps in. It's quite a meaty mechanism, this, okay? So let's see if we can't shim it. You have to be gentle with these. They do tend to tear if you're not gentle. Um, and I really, really, really hope that I can get this to work first time for you. So I'm just going to take this one and slide it in. And hopefully you can see, because it's see-through, he slides all the way down to the, the guts of the lock. Then gently, gently, gently turn it and push that locking dog out of the way. Then going through the other side, push down. And again, we're going to gently, gently, gently try to just turn it into the lock, if we can, turn it around so you can see, um, it looks like we haven't got it 100% past uh, where we need it to be, so I might turn it around and try the other way, um, they can be a bit temperamental, um, it's quite thin, and, and there we go, and then hopefully We've just shimmed open our lock. There we go. But look at the shims now, and you can see that they're starting to get a bit wear on them. This one, oh, this one's really torn up. Okay, so I'm not going to be using that one. 